trademark Nana. Yeah, gotta respect that Nana. This is my favorite. <laughs> my favorite hero. <laughs> we, we didn't even have to say anything. Hand me the look. We, just, we, we weren't saying, we weren't saying anything. Now you're just assuming. We literally looked at me. We just, we just pointed it out. Ladies and gentlemen, game number two. Do or die for TNC. I do believe they are effectively eliminated from the playoffs, but they can finish strong, and boy, oh boy, did they draft to do just that. Here we go. Interesting matchup in the mid. We, we haven't, we've never seen this in Season 8. Yeah, oh, that's he, a, that's a Nana. super nice Nana skin, too. Looks yeah. great. Um, also, Louis Yi showing up into uh, for the first time. I'm actually wondering if this is going to be a, kind of... I'm very curious to see how Louis Yi performs because I, it's someone that I've wanted to see show up so far. Yeah. And with Magic Worship, I say, I'm the Oh, oh. Chu's looking low. Ryzen wants this, and he knows he can do it. Again, we just flashed uh, a percentage win rate for Omega and with Ryzen in. They've been winning! Was that 70%? Close 60, to. 69%. Close. Very nice. 63 to 69, yeah. somewhere around there, yeah. But yeah. it's a majority win. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's huge because uh, I remember when Ryzen came in, there was a lot of questions about that uh, and that choice to put him there, and I think he's performed greatly so far, and that percentage obviously shows that. So, And going into the matchups here, I think, I mean, when you put up that thumbs going back to the Thams pick against a Phobius, I think that's a, a great choice there to go up in that lane matchup. But when it comes to that first objective, I think... I want to give it up so far to TNC in the early game. We'll have to see how things scale with them and Omega. But right now, I think Omega will just have a hard time going against TNC early on. For sure, I hear you, and I agree, because uh, as for Omega, their scaling is, is something that happens across the board. It's something that, it's a, more of a mid-game spike. For TNC, you really feel it when, when Toshi starts to get those items and when p start starts bursting you like no little girl has business doing. First turtle up already. A lot, lot of life bars looking all the side of TNC. That's a trade so far. Chu for Chaknu, and they're winning the trade. There's that's all over the place, but Omega gets two. Here comes Ryzen, down goes Ben Things. Three for one, and I believe Omega won the trade. Okay, I stand corrected. <laughs> Trade-wise, Omega came out and performed, but I think TNC was just focusing so much on that turtle and trying to secure it there because they don't want to give up objectives like that. Look at the setup from E2 oh, Max, by the way. Dude, told you could go down here. They just need to get those minion waves in the tower, and you'll be surprised if suddenly E2 Max is there. There it is. He's down. Oh, Whoa! Oh, brilliant. Ooh, brilliant. Lightning and... He almost didn't have enough mana. So yes, to it. To that. In trouble. There's a shadow kill, and short of maybe shuriken and two or three basic attacks. A lot of time for, for Chocolate to survive. Yeah, and look at this. I like how Dare is actually forcing Ryzen out of this purple buff, forcing out the Tempest of Blades. This good work here by Dare to pressure this Ling out. Oh, and Ryzen says, thanks for helping me out. Pop in the Retribution and Dare's gonna get punished hard. Hero has been I mean, played. he tried. He tried to make a play and do something there to delay you know, that buff going over to Ryzen, but it just turned out bad because it took way too long. And so situations like that, you know, definitely don't want to keep that from, you don't want it, that to keep happening. Ooh. Ooh. And step. things committing all but the kitchen sink, the microwave, and of course the door stop. Um, I, I, I believe he almost had everything. He, I, he wanted to take down Kelra that hard. Oh, now it's a mirror up top. It's there. There's a demonic force. P got on the response. Dropping Molina. Will Renzio catch it? There's the ult. And there, pop in the Continent Inferno. Still quite a few clicks onto the demonic force. And, oh, there knows. There knows that he could be punished by Ryzen again. Yeah, usually you'd see a Tom's being able to withstand dueling with a Fovius early on, but because Renzo got two kills and two assists early on, uh, now Dare is actually going to be having a rough time against that Fovius. He'll be able to hold, but it won't be like an endless battle, no pun intended, between those two, because eventually Renzo will just be able to win out. Yep, and these catches one, Good catch. committing the full combo. Wow. Chaknu survives despite all of the burst from P God. They back out. Just gonna give over the turtle this time around. Omega, they're one for one. Blue yeah, I think at this point the of the turtle. game, it starts to just kind of go over in Omega's favor. TNC has to continue on the kind of early game pressure that they have, 
but right now it's going to be too much for them to handle. Yeah, and I like how TNC, instead of forcing fights, trying to get a win from a skirmish, they ended up trading things out, and they actually are able to break the first turn of the game. So that's something TNC can be proud of and can build a comeback from behind, but here's Ben Things. Ooh, he's tried so many times to take Chaknu down, but actually, Chaknu's first death, ladies and gentlemen, was from that first turtle take about three minutes ago. Yeah. I actually thought Ben Things would commit it there because there were two other members of TNC nearby, Darren too. Maybe it's Renzio! No, oh, that's all the skills, ladies and gentlemen, but oh, Renzio oh, trying oh. to survive. Demonic Force, life stealing away. Put it up shields, but he still survives. Toshi, though, flickering on out of here. Plus the brilliance, not gonna trigger the Cyclone Eye. He was a little orb when that happens. Here's a response. Can they take down Ryzen? There's 3v3 action. Kelrog is gonna wheel away at the turret. Oh, no. TNC, not enough firepower present. I think this is one of the things that I was mentioning about Ling. Once Ling gets that kind of early game advantage and presence, this is where Ling really shines. So Ryzen, again, performing very well on a pick like that. TNC not able to choke out Ryzen's Ling as much as it happened on the other side of the, in game one. So again, there's a pick. Oh, that's going to be the passive pop onto... He got, he survives, but only for a second more. Chaku finally goes down. Black Dragon Form here by Kelra. Just putting up a perimeter. Thou shalt not touch my jungler and my mage. They disengage. Man, right now, Omega heading into the mid game here. 19k gold over that 17k that TNC has. And a 7 and 3 score as well. So right now, again, Omega's starting to scale pretty well. There's the shadow kill. Not enough damage right now. No. Oh, I yes, spoke it. too soon. The shadow kill wasn't over just yet. And with a shadow left all the way back underneath its turret. That's a, I mean, that's the power of Hayabusa that we've seen week and week and week since his revamp. So uh, a great play there. Now this next turtle for the taking. Oh, there's the demonic force. Early pop in by Renzio. Let's see, how can Ethomas rain down the damage? Shoo, takes the turtle buff, and now Ben Things oh. flickering on out. He gets hit with the way of the dragon. There, pop in the counter of the Inferno. Demonic force, enough damage for Ethomas to finish the job. Backline, Bigot, bursts down, Ryzen. Shoo, taking down Chakno, and here's Kelra. He's a dragon, but he's also a little Molina friend. Down goes Toshi, underneath his own turret. 3v2. Chu down in the bottom lane, wants to go for a push. Wow, Omega, they did lose quite a bit there, but they're not letting go. I mean, they didn't lose a lot, but again, TNC able to secure Blue the turtle. That's going to be a turret also going over to them. And now he's trying to do his best here. Oh, I see what she was going for. He was trying to keep that shadow kill, but there was so much CC. Yep, dispersion and rotation combo from the low E eventually getting him there. Now Omega can continue this ride for momentum in the mid lane. I think TNC will be able to clear this up, so they don't need to worry as much. But with the very small lead that Omega actually has, TNC are still in this. Yeah. They, in terms of the items, are not that far. But they now have to be careful of this low E even more. Uh, the Holy Crystal was picked up for him. And at the same time, Keller actually already picked up, or has an Oracle and a Bloodlust Axe, hence why you're seeing a lot of regen on him right now. Yeah, I think that's something they're going to have to watch out for because when that Luyi gets the Holy Crystal, I mean, she's already pumping out a lot of damage. That's her main damage item, but she also has the Penetration Boots as well, so that's going to be very hard to play around for TNC. All right, I have to correct myself. No Oracle there for Kellera, but it's a Bloodlust Axe and a War Axe, so that's more damage coming out of this. And result. I believe on the way to a Dominant Ice. Yeah, and that'll be a great pickup. Nasty. Slows. Healing reduction. Oh man, I like the pivot that they've given Kellra. They haven't won Amen. just yet, but he could be key to their victory. I mean, not just could be, very much so. Uh, earlier we did see him do quite a bit of uh, just uh, enforcer uh, moves, just, just putting up a wall between the back line of Omega and TNC. But once he does get his mojo going, man, he can dive uh, Toshi, he can force out moves from Chu, take down P God almost single handedly. Right now, Omega, they got eyes here on that oh. main front turret. But here comes Ben Things catching out Kelra off guard, bouncing ball out of here. There, oh, there's gonna just walk away. Wow, while well, Ryzen is just wailing away at this bottom lane tier two. That's the thing. I mean, anytime TNC groups up and Atu Max just lays down 
those combination of spells that just melts them away. So they have to have an answer for that. And right now, they just don't have the itemization to really have that magic defense that they need for that. But on top of that, what they can do, TNC can continue to kind of crawl back into this game. But gold, the gold difference isn't that big. And as you mentioned, Redmar, they're not out of this game. They just need to win some key fights, open up the map by taking down that first turret in the mid lane and possibly setting up for this first Lord take. We gotta talk about how difficult this game has been for Toshi. Look at this young man's record, 0-3-4. Yeah, you can't blame him. I mean, going up against the Yuzal in the lane. Oh, early burst here onto Chaknu. Survives with about a ninth, a tenth of his health. So that's gonna be the Mamba recalling out. Not much uh, in terms of uh, resources spent on TNC, but the go. true action was a pop, man. And again, Toshi goes. Toshi is definitely having a hard game. Uh, and surprising matchup, too, going against that Yuzong. And look at him go one oh, versus two up here. Look at this, Etomax to the rescue, using wow. the diversion to respond so quickly. Demonic Force answered in by Renzio. As Ryzen starts up this Lord, there's four of them there. They're wailing away at it. And this is a quick, quick Lord take. Blink and you'll miss it. TNC could not respond. This is one of the powers of uh, Phobius pick. I mean, we. We saw it before, even with uh, Next Play Evos, the power of him to zone out just an entire team. I'm talking about four that or five members. That's the power of Phobius. I mean, we saw it there with the Demonic Force while the rest of them got to work on Lord. So, again, TNC itemization-wise is having a hard time going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Mega. Yeah, and going up against Phobius and Yu Zhang, since uh, Lunox had a difficult early game, P God won't be quite there yet in terms of dealing the damage that he can. And a lot of the damage that TNC is, or their lineup is basing on are so still physical, but oh wait, there's Oh, a heavy dive here, Chu using those shadows, popping the ult, the shadow kill to survive as TNC gets dove in deep by Omega. Kelra takes him down, that's one man away from TNC, and boy, oh boy, was it an important member. That's their jungler as they continue the onslaught, the assault. Lord down bottom, Omega down mid. Yeah, this is the thing that I was saying, they're having a hard time going against the front line initiators. Omega. That can either be Kelra on this Yuzong, who also does a ton of damage and has a lot of kind of sustain. And then on top of that, you throw in Renzio on that Fovia. So it's a huge front line. And the thing is, TNC has to force to fight in together. And when you throw in a Louis Yi on the other side, that's a kind of a disaster for your team. Yep, and that's the penetration down bottom. Omega gets the job done. Renzio popped here by P got punished for staying a little too long, but Omega just shakes it off. TNC, I mean, it's slowly but surely kind of getting out of their hands at this point. They do lose two crucial turrets in their base. They have one left, and right now they don't have much map control. So they're gonna definitely need to just rely on buying time, just like before, and look what's happening here. Ooh, and these catches one, but it's, it's a perfect target. It, it, it's Chaknu, and oh, here they have y'all ever seen a concealed dragon? Because <laughs> Kildra's here on the hunt. He catches a Toshi, and right oh. when the Order of Brilliance goes, slaying him, Ryzen gets the finishing blow. Tempest of Blades popped in just in time to call it quits. Wow. For Omega, simple assassinations like that for more map control, I'll take it. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing too. Like I said, when you have a one frontliner in the bend things on that Kufra, they, Omega has the answer just to go to the back line. Oh, another fight breaking out. They have a torrent here in mid. Taking down Etomax, but he survives. Winter Truncheon in tow, but Ben Things taking him down. They're surviving because of the spell vamp on this Carter Inferno. So that's a small win for TNC. Small win, and I honestly think that TNC, that's all they can get right now. They can get small win after small win to slowly grab the itemization that they need to match up with Omega to, at some point, hopefully get a win in a team fight because small wins and pickoffs are pretty much what they need right now. So we'll have to see if they can continue to do that. And they need, they're kind of forced to pretty much travel together. Yeah, if they can somehow bait Omega, especially Kelra here to just you know, dive 
TNC way too early, if they can find the safety of a turret or find a good opportunity to turn the game around, they will need to find that because they are now at 34% win rate compared to 64%, uh, 66% here for Omega. The, be, this Yu Zong pick, I think, threw off like the plans that TNC had in mind, or they did not expect this coming. Um, I do feel like that the Nana was still like pre-planned, but then Kelra and the members of Omega at this point don't need to worry much about the Molina or getting turned into the, the stuffed cat. And just the Fovius and then the Yu Zong together, TNC does not have enough pieces to be able to just take them down, burst them down quickly. Even though Toshi right now already has like a genius one, and I believe his next item was a lightning crunch, and it's still very hard for them to deal enough damage. Yep, yeah, two things. I call it a friend. You just turn into a friend. And then, as per what TNC needs to do, short of a miracle, it has to be a quick turnaround, just like this. Maybe in Lord, maybe in their own base. But of course, Ryzen, with confidence, secures the Lord, their second in this game. If there is a turnaround for TNC, I'm guessing it's gonna happen whether by Omega's mistake, yes. it should be a bait, or inside TNC's base where they, again, have a turret, have that base firing away, giving extra damage because this 4K deficit that TNC has, that's one or two main items spread across Omega's course. Yeah, TNC, I mean, all members are up, but you're gonna have to deal with a Luminous Lord now marching down that top portion of the map and they're gonna have to have a defense of a lifetime. But the one thing that they do have going for them is they have minion wave clear, so that can help them out. But at the same time, they're gonna have to worry, as Renmar mentioned, the initiation coming out from Kelra and Renzio alone will push TNC back. Despite all that, Chu still is hide in gold, or just a little bit. Chapel trying to find an opening, there's a kick. And here comes Kelra from the south coming in. Dragon form. Even this is threatening. Oh! oh the rotations from Atomax forcing out the brilliance from Toshi. Down goes mid lane. It's a scramble here at the base. Toshi getting bursted down. Chaknu goes. Ladies and gentlemen, the base is still standing. Toshi taken down by Ryzen. And they're holding on. Ryzen in a whale away. The final blow to the base as TNC gets swept. Kelra with.